Let's check in with. I'm very concerned. I mentioned this earlier. President speaking on ISIS tonight. Evidently, uh, the, the president has found a strategy on ISIS. He does have a strategy on ISIS now. TMZ actually found it for him. Where he got it? And a story that I saw on TV last night when I was sitting at home and see in the Observer and, and here today, Charlotte Muslims condemn ISIS. And it's a gathering of, of 30 leaders of Charlotte's Muslim community holding a press conference Tuesday to deliver a unified message, condemn the violence by ISIS, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. That's ISIS. And I see this story and I look up, I hear this on TV last night, and I'm like, okay, well, let me see, where's Jabril? He must be there, Jabril Huff, the, uh, been with us many times, as you know, and he's a, a good listener to the show and supportive and supports our causes and stuff. And he is, of course, the spokesmuslim for the Islamic Center of Charlotte. And I look and there's no Jabril in the TV. And this morning I grabbed the Observer picture and I'm looking and looking and looking. And there's no Jabril. And I was just... I was just wondering, concerned, everything all right with Jabril? Or had there been some sort of overthrow at the Islamic Center of Charlotte and he was no longer the spokesmuslim? But uh, Charles has Mr. Huff on the line right now. Jabril? Good morning, Keith. How are you? Good morning, Jabril. I'm doing very well. Welcome back to News Talk 1110 WBT. Thank you. Uh, you okay? Everything all right? How you doing? What's going on? Or uh, do you not condemn ISIS? Yeah, well, let me kind of try to catch you up. Um... The, what you saw yesterday um, was actually, I think, basically two uh, Islamic centers in Charlotte uh, organized that, and um, I actually got a text uh, on behalf of my board at the Islamic Center to represent them yesterday morning, uh, kind of after the fact, and things were all already set in place, and uh, uh, I was working, so I didn't have time to attend, but uh, the, organ the organizing of that effort uh, did not come from the Islamic Center of Charlotte, and we really didn't even get an official invitation, so we were kind of like, uh, kind of told the second hand in the last minute. So it's not that we don't con uh, condemn ISIS. Uh, well, I don't even like to call them their name. I don't like to call them an Islamic State because they're not nothing representative of anything Islamic that I know of. Uh, but we, we joined them in condemning uh, that group. And actually, even a couple weeks ago, um, I did an interview with the Associated Press uh, condemning ISIS, uh, that group, and anyone who would uh, lead to join that group uh, is actually leaving the principles of their faith. So we're on board with that. Uh, I don't know why we were not included in the um, organization of it. Uh, I do know that some of the uh, Muslims that were there uh, support uh, and very been supportive uh, for U.S. intervention in Syria for, uh, for years now. And they know my position on that is uh, I'm against it. And that could, could be why, uh, I don't know. Um, uh, even though I condemn ISIS, I also condemn U.S. intervention because I think that's why uh, we're at the uh, situation we are now. I mean, starting with Iraq and then even uh, funding the rebels and terrorists and whatever groups that uh, we've been funding over the past few years in, in Syria uh, to overthrow Assad has just gotten us uh, in a deeper mess. Well, a as it relates to the situation yesterday and these other 30 people and the news conference and <clears throat> all of that kind of a thing, and you, as the... Uh, spokesmuslim for the Islamic Center of Charlotte, but you, you're, you said that they sort of called you after the fact, and I, I'm picking something up in your tone there. Do, do you feel that you were snubbed? Uh, well, yes, uh, we were. Uh, like I said, the Islamic Center of Charlotte, not just myself, even though uh, everyone knows I'm our representative, uh, uh, no one really officially reached out to us and said, hey, we want to do this. What do you guys think? Can you help us with it? Uh, uh, we didn't get an official invitation. Uh, like I said, I got a text from uh, our board yesterday morning asking, you know, can I attend? But uh, like I said, it was nothing in the planning uh, to really kind of include us in the process. So uh, not to say that I wouldn't have went if I had, if I was not working. Uh, I would have went to support it. But um, but, but it was uh, snubbery. Yeah, I mean, I, you would think that the largest Islamic community in Charlotte would have had an official invitation and uh are you the largest i didn't know that yeah 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 well, we, we are the largest uh islamic community in Charlotte. even though you know we're not a monolithic group uh there are a lot of different political opinions and whatnot uh so you know no one person speaks for all the muslims in charlotte 
all the Muslims in America or whatever the case is. So there are a number of different opinions uh, on the, on the uh, situation in Syria and now Iraq. Uh, and uh, I have been very outspoken against U.S. intervention in Syria where uh, I noticed that a few of the uh, people that have been asking for intervention in Syria were there yesterday and they were very vocal. Uh, and Obama should be more. The, these other uh, people, uh, these other Islamic uh, organizations in Charlotte, are, are there facilities, Is there are there Islamic centers owned by the North American Islamic Trust as, as yours is? Uh, I think one or two of them, uh, possibly. Uh, owned by that Nate group, uh, which which has been uh, targeted by, uh, accused by the U.S. government, and yes. I believe prosecuted uh, for being supporters of, of uh, terrorist organizations and funding. Okay. But uh, actually, uh, they they got their day in court, and, and, and that was overturned, and uh, and they won the case, and that shouldn't even be an issue uh, uh, anymore. But they still own your place. Uh, they have a deed, yes. Yeah. Like I said, uh, the uh, Justice Department has dealt with that. Uh, they said people should not use that term, unindicted co-conspirator, because it's almost like... I didn't. It's a big, it's a big word. I didn't. You just did. You, I, I did. Did I say it? No, but... No, I didn't. Who said it? But it was just said that the uh, people who hold your deed were unindicted co-conspirators, but I didn't bring that up. I didn't even say that. No, but you were, you were alluding to it. No, but you said it. You brought their name up. Well, I brought their name up. They do hold your deed, but I didn't uh, accuse them of being an unindicted co-conspirator. I didn't. I mean, that when you say that unindicted co-conspirator, that's what really labels it out, and and you're the only one who said that. Okay. I, I mean, I just want to point that out that I didn't use because that's that that's a pejorative kind of uh, phrase, and it's a little bit incendiary. I just would like to point out yes. you're the one who used it. I did. Yes, I said that, but you know when. People bring up that name, uh, you know, usually that's what's uh, behind the question. You figured I was going to say it, so you thought you'd just jump on it and be preemptive? No, I just want to be clear. It's like being clear with the situation in Syria, our position. Yes. So what should the president do? What should the United States do about the, the group that you don't want to name, but that is referred to as ISIS? and uh, its, its sponsorship in Syria and apparently into Iraq. What should, in your view, the president do? Well, it's hard to say that we don't share some responsibility because we did help break it. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I think we have to be very careful in uh, uh, creating more war, uh, sending more bombs. Uh, I think that the U.S. should play as some kind of uh, mediator and, and talk with the Arab countries that have already signed on doing something and say, look, it's time for you guys to take the lead here. You know, uh, you know, we'll assist you guys in some kind of capacity, but uh, the United States needs to stop sending our weapons over there. We need to stop uh, making more war. We need to stop intervening in these countries because where has they gotten us? I agree with your concerns. The concerns about intervention are fair. You know that. You know I agree on that. But in terms of you know, now you're talking about diplomacy or us trying to get other people to do So you think, like, John Kerry's going to fly over there and talk some sense into uh, somebody in the Middle East? Or, I no, mean, I, I have no faith in John Kerry. Oh, okay. I, I just, I, I just I'm, just, I'm just reaching here, but I have no faith in John Kerry either. All right. Jabril, really, I just wanted to make sure you were okay and still with the Islamic Center and still in power. Nobody had dethroned you or anything like that. I just wanted to make sure you were doing all right. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, thanks for uh, reaching out and... Uh, Sure. Uh, Jabril Huff, spokesman for the Islamic Center of Charlotte. Jabril, thanks. Thank you. Boomer, I believe you meant Friday through...